Hello HP Touchpad users, great news! Android 5.0 Lollipop preview builds have started appearing on the HP Touchpad. Check it out here in the XDA Developers Forum and give thanks to Flintman of the Evervolve team. Always evolve, evervolve. Come check it out right here and of course read the full OP. Now this is a preview build, so it's not quite ready to be your daily driver, but it is really quite functional. It's great to check out the Android 5.0 interface. I'm going to take you on a little tour and explain how to get this installed for yourself. Let's check it out. First off, before getting started, always read the entire OP. Important information will be disclosed to you here. For those who don't know, Evervolve is an Android open source project ROM. We're fully open source and encourage it with no restrictions. The work put into this ROM is community driven and Evervolve project is made up of numerous members and contributors. Give thanks to all of them. Check out all the important information right here. Now, first off, what is and isn't working? The Bluetooth is currently fixed in the latest builds. Uh, there may be some issues about sharing, so check that out down below. There is a note about that. Camera is not currently working, but could be working by the time you're checking this out. Uh, now this you will notice right away, the home key doesn't wake the device from sleep. You'll need to hit that power button until the code is added into the source. So just wait for that to happen. Eventually it will be working, but for now just hit that power button instead of the home key. 4G models are not currently supported. Here's the links to their GitHub, Garrett, Evervolve website, Twitter feed, and IRC. Now let's take a look at the download section. Always get your latest download links from the OP here. This is the current build I'm on. There may be newer ones by the time you're checking this out. Now Flintman notes right here that you can get the latest twerp version, which he recommends using with this ROM. He says that some data meter recoveries don't boot properly. You can't access the boot partition properly. So uh, he says get this twerp recovery. I've tried the fills one. That seems to work fine. But I always get what the developer recommends. I'm going to show you how to install this anyway. So please stay tuned. Next up, don't forget to please read all the important notes by the developer. Keep in mind this is a preview build in its early stages. It's great to check it out and have some fun with, but you want to stick with the regular KitKat builds as your daily driver at this point. There will be lots of builds coming out, so just wait till they get a little more mature, and Lollipop will be running great on every device. Just wait and see. Just a little FYI to everyone, the Bluetooth is working, but there's some issues with the sharing, so you might want to keep an eye out for that. It may be fixed in a newer build. And be patient, uh, there's going to be errors, and the first time you boot it takes quite a while, so just be very patient when you're booting that first time. It may take a few minutes, you're probably not in a boot loop, just put it down and wait for it to boot. Next up, you'll want to get this GApps here, which he recommends, but there is not a link to it, so look in the video's description, I've posted one. And it, here it is, the CM12 Android 5.0 link right here, just download that latest GApps package, you'll need it to flash the ROM, we're going to take you through that in a moment. So stay tuned. Now keep in mind it's not running on the 4G touchpads yet, but it should be sooner or later. Flintman has a great Android 4.4 4G version. If you want to check that out, I'll add a link in the video's description as well. And of course, thanks everyone who made this possible. Lots of talented developers involved. And donate once in a while to show your appreciation to these incredible developers bringing us Android 5.0 on this three-year-old device. Just incredible. Thanks, guys. Now I'm going to take you through a little install guide, and I'm going to take you on a tour. Check the video's description for a time code if you want to skip ahead. Don't forget to hit that like button. In order to get the latest Lollipop builds installed on your HP Touchpad, first you'll need to have the latest Android 4.4 data media builds installed. I have a full guide that will get you there first using JC Selen's latest and greatest creation, the TP Toolbox. Now this guide will take you through the entire process. You'll need to have Android 4.4 installed. This will explain what the toolbox is, what data media builds are, and answer all your questions on installing it and take you through step by step. There's two videos at the top that will explain absolutely everything. Go through this guide and make sure you have that installed. Once you've got it ready, we're going to need to install this ROM and GF's package by flashing it through the recovery. Now I have an older thread that explains flashing files through recovery to install the new ROMs. I have a video about that here. I'm going to do some updating to that, so check that out too if you're not familiar with the procedure. But I'm going to take you through step by step. So once you've got Android 4.4 installed, you've got your data media recovery installed, you're going to go back to the Evervolve thread. 
you're going to download the ROM here. The latest ROM will always be located in the download section, so check it out. Download your ROM. And then, of course, download the GApps package. This will all be linked in the video's description. Download them to the desktop of your computer. Now, you can also get the twerp recovery that's recommended here. But some of the other data meter recoveries can flash it as well. Now, I recommend putting it in a folder. Here, I've got it here. Here, I've got my ROM, my GApps package, and Flint's twerp recovery. Check it out. Put it in a folder. Plug in your HP touchpad, here mine is, open it up, you're going to want to put it into the internal storage, create a folder, and I just dragged and dropped my folder over, create a folder, put it in there so you can find it easily, I called it Evervolve 5.0, and you'll need to confirm that you have the ROM and GFs package in there, and the Flint twerp recovery if you want to grab that as well. Once you have the files all located on your touchpad in the internal storage, you can reboot the device into recovery and flash the files. I'll show you how to do that now. If you've already done this before, skip ahead and I'll show you a little preview of Android 5.0 on the touchpad running. Here we are in Phil's Clockwork Mod Recovery. First up, make a backup. Go to Backup and Restore and click backup to SD card. This will back up all your apps and your setup. You want to definitely have a backup when trying out preview builds in case you want to get back or anything goes wrong during your install. You'll be happy you made it. You can restore it just from the menu underneath. Here's all my backups. Very easy to do. Please make one. Next up, we want to do a factory data reset. We want to delete all the data from our previous install. All our media on the device will be fine and intact. Just the app related stuff and the operating system will be wiped. This just takes a moment, please wait. And it, this is a necessary step, unless of course you already have Evervolve running, in which case you can do a dirty flash. Once that's all done and you're all wiped, next go to Install Zip, choose your zip from the SD card, and look for the Evervolve 5.0 folder we created earlier and transferred to the touchpad. Once inside, you'll find the ROM, which is our operating system. Just click on it and install it. Next up, we're going to install the GApps package. Now this can take a little time. Please be patient. Once complete, click the screen. Go back to choose zip from SD card. And we're going to again go to the Evervolve 5.0 folder, this time looking for the GApps Lollipop package. There it is. Click it to install it and wait for the install to complete. Once complete, simply click the screen and we're ready to reboot the device. Go back and reboot the system now. Now this first boot can take quite a long time. It can take like five to 10 minutes. Don't be surprised. Just wait through it and eventually you'll be greeted by the startup screen and you'll get started with the Lollipop Android 5.0 on the HP touchpad. Now I'm gonna take you on a little preview of, of this ROM. I've already got my stuff installed. I'm gonna run a few apps for you, talk about a little fixes and play a game demo. Let's check it out. Here we are, I'm going to show you my Android 5.0 setup and the most common app usage. Swipe up to unlock. I'm running the Go Launcher HD. It's nice and smooth on my home screen here. You're going to notice a lot of changes to the system UI. You're going to want to explore that for yourself. I'm going to show you the settings now. You know, there's some big changes here. Everything's very light in this setup, although I do kind of prefer the dark as it saves battery life, but it's very interesting to see. Go to our About tablet, you notice everything's a little slow. And there it is, Android 5.0 running on the HP touchpad. Great work. Lollipops for all, everybody. Incredible to see this development. Can't wait to see it running full speed on the touchpad and maturing like KitKat. Now, one of my favorite features here is the new app switching, kind of like T-Bob's WebOF style app switching mod for the earlier Cyanogen Mod 9 and 10 ROMs. Uh, battery drains a little high in this preview. Of course, we're going to see that improve over time. Just incredible to see this. It's, of course, running the 3.4 kernel, which is known to run a little higher on the battery drain. And a very respectable benchmark score here. I gotta love how you can just swipe these away. It's a lot of fun. Great animation. 
one of my favorite features of the ROM. A little slow to load up there, but the benchmark scores are quite respectable. Just need to wait for these ROMs to mature a little. Now the browser performance was, well, not great. It was a little slow, it's a little slow to start up, and I tend to fast forward it just because I don't want to make you wait that long. But you can see right here, it takes a while to load up just a simple page at XDA, although there are a lot of ads and side menus and that sort of thing. Overall, a great experience. Had a lot of fun trying out the lollipop features. Big thanks to Flintman and the Ever Evolved team for making this possible. I'm going to show you a little YouTube playback. Now, I found it was a little chopped by default. This happens sometimes. It's easy to fix this though, don't panic. Just hit those three dots in the upper right hand corner, the settings. Go to quality and set it to 720p. Now this will just clear it up, just restart your videos and it will look normal again. You can play it full screen. Once you've got your YouTube playback fixed, you might want to check out a little gaming. Here I'm going to show you some Star Wars Commander. Been a while since we could... Performance seemed quite good. And I just played for a few minutes to make sure 3D acceleration was working. Fun game to check out in the Play Store. And there you have it, Android 5.0 running in full effect on the HP Touchpad. Big thanks to all our talented developers involved. I'll keep making videos, so please subscribe and like the video so more people will see it. Thanks for watching, everybody.